Okay, we're going to do a few guided practice problems for law of sine. So we'll actually do about four problems. All right, first problem. It says find BC, round your answer to the nearest tenth. Well, BC happens to be opposite angle A, so BC is lowercase a, so I'll label that. We've also been given angle C, which means opposite is lowercase c, and we also have been given side B. Uh, so, in order to con continue with this, we need two ratios. We got the ratios of lowercase a and uppercase a. Out of the two things that we're missing, angle B or lowercase c, the only thing we can actually find is angle B. So, we'll find angle B by subtracting the two other angles from 180 degrees. When we substitute the values in, we find that the measure of angle B is actually 54 degrees. Now that I have the 54 degrees, I now have two complete ratios. I've got the uppercase A and lowercase A, and again we're trying to find A, and the uppercase B and the lowercase B. Because we're trying to find the lowercase A, that's what we're going to put on top. So, corresponding ratio, A over sine A equals B over sine B. Substitute everything in, and then eventually cross multiply. That'll give us A sine 54 equals 25 sine 65. To get A by itself, we'll divide both sides by sine 54. So what'll go into the calculator is 25 sine 65 over sine 54. Let's see what we get here. So let me clear this up. Uh, 25 sine 54, 25 sine 65 over sine 54. Sine 54, we get a little over 28, so basically 28. So, BC is approximately 28.0 because we are rounding to the nearest 10. All right, next problem. Here, the first thing we notice, there's no illustration. So we have to go purely off of the letters that they use. So they gave us angle B, so big B, and lowercase b. So we got our first ratio, and lowercase a, and uppercase a. So we have all the ratios we need to continue with the law of sines. Because we're trying to find the measure of angle a, that will go on top of the ratios. So We've got sine A over A equals sine B over B. Let's substitute all the values in. We now have a proportion. We'll cross multiply. And now we'll just solve for A. To solve for A, we'll first divide by 27. That yields sine A equals 13 sine 114 over 27. Now it's time to get A by itself. We'd have to inverse sine on both sides. So in the calculator, I'm first going to find what's in blue here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So let's clear. We've got 13 sine 114 over 27. Now that I have that answer, then I'll go ahead and inverse sine. So second sine, second answer. I'm not going to type all that in. Gives us a little over 26 degrees. So, this is what I eventually put into the calculator. Measure of angle A, approximately equal to 26 degrees. All right, third problem. Again, no illustration given, so we'll have to rely just on the variables. Looks like we have uppercase A and lowercase A. But, we've been given uppercase C or lowercase B, so we don't have a complete ratio. So that means to complete the B ratio, I'd have to find the measure of angle B. To complete the C ratio, I'd have to find lowercase c. So I'm either having to determine C or angle B. The easier one to find is angle B. Because if we add up all three angles, we get 180 degrees. So we subtract the given angles from 180 degrees, which is the 45 and the 102. That leaves us with the measure of angle B equaling 33 degrees. So we now have the two complete ratios. We have the ratios of the A's and the ratios of the B's. We're trying to find lowercase a, so that has to go on top. So lowercase a over sine a equals lowercase b over sine b.
And again, this right here, the measure of angle C we're not using. We did use it just to help us find the measure of angle B. So we substitute the values in, cross multiply, and that yields A sine 33 equals 10 sine 45. To get A by itself, divide both sides by th sine 33. So this is what's going to go into the calculator. 10 sine 45 over sine 33. So we got 10 sine 45 over sine 33. Sine 33. We get a little over 12. So 12.98 ish. And because we round into the nearest 10, ah, that gives us exactly 13.0. Because when we round appropriately, 13 is what it rounds to. One more example. Again, no illustration. So we're going by the variables given. They gave us the measure of angle A and lowercase a. So there's our first ratio. And we're working with angle B and lowercase b. So we're good to go. We're rounding to the nearest tenth. And because we're trying to find lowercase b, that's what's going to go on top. So lowercase is on top. Lowercase a over sine a. Lowercase b over sine b. Substitute. Cross multiply. And let's start putting something into the calculator. Here, to get b by itself. Divide both sides by sine 110. So this is what's going into the calculator. 32 sine 36. So 32 sine 36 all over sine 110. 110. Gives us right about 20. We're around to the nearest 10. So 20.0. So there we go. So these have been guided ones, and these will be the ones that you will complete.